Hello there my friends, my name is Risk Fish and today I'm bringing you a video on ReZero. ReZero is one of the most popular and in-depth stories of the past decade, however despite this, it still has many overlooked elements in its story and today I will be exploring one of them. The first great expedition is perhaps one of the most important events in ReZero. It was the last unsuccessful expedition against the White Whale, which took place 14 years before the start of ReZero. The battle ended with the death of Teresa Van Astra and the defeat of her expedition. Interestingly, with the appearance of a undead Teresa in Arc 5, it appears there is an as of yet untold version of this story, which I will be exploring today. Chapter 1 The Hostage 16 years before the events of ReZero, Reinhardt's mother and Heinkel's wife, Luana Astria, becomes afflicted with a condition known as Sleeping Beauty, with symptoms eerily similar to the victims of Gluttony. Some time later, Felix visits the Astraeus household and tries to heal her. However, because her injuries are not physical, nothing can be done to cure her. It is important to mention here that while her symptoms may be similar to the victims of the authority of Gluttony, Heinkel, Reinhard and the rest of the Astraeus family did not forget her or her name, which reveals the cause of her situation to be different. Importantly, before this event Heinkel was actually a kind and upstanding knight, however he was devastated by the loss of his wife due to their condition, and fell into despair becoming an alcoholic. My theory is that Pandora used her authority of vainglory on Luana in order to manipulate Heinkel into kidnapping Ford Luginica's daughter, Felt. Remember that in Elia Forest we see that Pandora has an allure type effect which allows her to manipulate Regulus, and to a lesser extent, Amelia as well. By making Heinkel unstable, she increases the influence of her own allure ability and the effect it has on him, making him easier to manipulate into doing her bidding. Also remember that in Elio Forest, Pandora's killing of Fortuna led Amelia to completely reject her and Pandora to fail her objective of opening the seal. This time, by keeping Luana as a hostage, she gives Heinkel hope of saving her and herself a bargaining chip to, to manipulate him with. Pandora also tries to manipulate Amelia using hope in Arc 4, and she most likely gave Heinkel a similar choice. Chapter 2 The Target 14 years before the events of ReZero, the royal daughter of Ford Luginica was reportedly kidnapped from his residence. If Pandora's objective was the daughter, then using Heinkel makes a lot of sense because he held the position of Deputy Commander of the Royal Guard and so could get access to the Royal Residence. Additionally, the Royal Guard at the time were corrupt, with entry into their ranks controlled by notable households and powerful backers. It was only because of the kidnapping incident that the Royal Guard were later reformed. At the time though, Heinkel Astria, who had both the position and the right family name, could easily have the connections to steal the child. It is also mentioned in Arc 5 that Heinkel was a suspect in the kidnapping and believed to have hired the thieves. This is mentioned by Julius. What he most likely didn't know is that Ford had the qualifications of a Lion King, giving him unusually sharp intuition, which allowed him to escape the mansion with his daughter before the thieves could take fell. He later gave the child to Valga Cromwell, aka Rom, mentioning that he felt anxious about the future. It is therefore likely that he recognised that there was a danger in the palace, to the point where he considered the lawless slums a safer place for his daughter. Chapter 3 The Expedition After the reported kidnapping, Wilhelm was tasked with tracking the kidnappers, while news comes in that the White Whale is approaching. Heinkel is initially tasked with leading the expedition against it, however it is mentioned that he withdraws out of fear. It may be that he knew Pandora was involved and was scared of her power. It might also have been the case that Pandora offered him another deal, in order to make sure that Teresa was the one leading the expedition, but this is unknown. What is known is that in Arc 5, Heinkel does attempt to block reconciliation between Reinhard and Wilhelm, which might be due to his own guilt in regard to this incident and his own inability to forgive himself. He also has an extremely emotional response to Teresa's appearance in an Arc 5, although this could just be due to the fact that they are mother and son. Regardless, the expedition ends in complete disaster, with Teresa being killed and her blessing transferred to Reinhardt midway through the fight. She herself is later resurrected and used as a puppet by the cult. It is suspected that the reason her blessing was transferred was due to Pandora's authority of vainglory. Chapter 4 The Consequences 
Pandora and the Witch Claw as a whole benefited hugely from this incident. Firstly, the division of a powerful enemy. The Astraeus family are a powerful and influential family in ReZero, however after the death of Teresa the family falls apart. This can best be seen in Arc 5 with Wilhelm, Reinhardt and Heinkel all supporting different camps. Wilhelm blames Reinhardt and Heinkel, and Heinkel also blames Reinhardt. The division is so bad that when Reinhardt and Wilhelm try to re-counsel, Heinkel deliberately ruins the moment, cementing the division between the three. Heinkel's poor management of the Australian lands has also led the house into decline, with the situation luckily being partially salvaged by the efforts of Fell and Reinhardt. Reinhardt, however, has arguably suffered the most. With an alcoholic father and no mother, he has been continually used and abused by Heinkel, making him have a low sense of self-importance. This is best seen in Pristella when Heinkel is able to take Felt hostage and use her to easily manipulate Reinhardt. It may have been the case that Pandora's objective then was to create a weaker sword saint in both mind and body, as Reinhardt also has a defective gait. However, this has actually turned out to be an advantage for him. The whole incident also helped to demonstrate the power and the influence of the witch cult by killing a sword saint, a symbol of Luginican power. It also fits with Pandora's nature as the Witch of Vainglory, which requires the recognition of others. There is also the matter of Felt. The kidnapping targeted her specifically, so perhaps she is unique among the royal family. Also, while she may have survived, she has been unable to take up the throne due to her unclear origins, which might be part of Pandora's objective. Either way, we will have to wait for Arcade for confirmation, which will focus on the Felt camp. One alternative idea is based on the Arc 4 flashback in which we see a conversation between Puck's true form and Reinhardt, where the former speaks of the Sword Saint having a specific role. Remember that Reed, the first accredited Sword Saint, did not actually have the blessing of the Sword Saint, with its true nature and origin remaining a mystery. What is known is that approximately 38 years before ReZero, or 24 years before the Great Expedition, Teresa retired from being a Sword Saint after being defeated by Wilhelm. It may be then that Teresa was killed because she was not fulfilling the role of the Sword Saint. Just an interesting thought. This sadly brings us to the end of the video. I do feel that the whole Luana Astria situation is important, and it is only explained in a side story, however the implications could potentially affect the main story of ReZero, which is why I've discussed it in this video. That's all for now, and I do hope to see you next time, and I hope you've enjoyed the video.